Greetings and salutations, it's Donks here. I hope you're well having a good day. Um, going to do something a little different today. Um, we're going to have a look at the sales report um, video that Kaiga posted. And we're going to do a little review on that. He did a review on me the other day. And um, why not return the favour, go in, have a look at it and give you um, the Donks perspective on it all. So bear with me a minute while I just bring it up here. Now, I've basically done you a favour and I've skipped Kyger's intro because it's not loud enough. Oh, evolution. Play now for free. What's going on, guys? Kyger here. Today we're going to talk about the money that Eternal Evolution is bringing in. First, let's do a quick recap on what happened during the first collaboration. As you can see, the dates right here. Okay, so just firstly, Kaiga takes a lot of time out to research these stats and get these figures from the census and interpret them. So first of all, I'm going to post a link to the video. Please go and check him out. Um, he provides valuable information, which... Um, he's open to interpretation. Obviously, he's put his interpretation in it, but obviously he provides all the figures, so you can work things out for yourself as well. So do go and check the video out. Link will be in the description. For when it was active. And then here's an aggregate of what it was uh, we had. Uh, this is a bit off. Um, now... All of the information I'm going to be showing you is primarily from Sensor Tower. Uh, they are an aggregator. They take all the information of the publicly traded companies and push it through. There are several others out there, but Sensor Tower is generally seen to be the best. I did look at the other numbers, compare them, and uh, this is what I've come up with. Now, as we see... Uh, we're looking at 1.15 million uh, across Android, Apple, and uh, uh, China. This is the uh, Chinese Apple, uh, which... Now, these are not fantastic stats for a game. It's a small game, which goes to show you, even on these base stats here, that what they're asking the content creators to do um, for a game in this size is too much, even in these figures. Is obviously the lowest. Now, then we also had 75K downloads during the first anniversary, as you see, even the picture was different at the time. Now let's compare that to this is one day off of the collaboration, so we are missing one day of it. But this is going to be primarily the sales. Sales generally hold off. So all of the sales numbers should be reflected during this timeline. Now, as we take a look right here, we're looking at 100, uh, sorry, 1 million point zero five. So they lost 100,000, well, they g did not gain $100,000 as compared to the first collaboration. Uh, so effectively, what that says to me is that even though the event, as we all know, was 10 times better, the damage was probably done during the collab event, um, warned off a lot of spenders, um, and a lot of people probably quit, because I think Kaiga's going to get to the point I don't want to ruin it, but there were some really good offers in the anniversary event that I think most people who could possibly put their hand in a pocket who was still left in the game would have done. Anyway, let's continue. I do not have the numbers for what we do without a collaboration, but uh, just in comparison, we're getting less, and we're also at 55k uh, downloads. So we lost, not lost, 
we did we gained 20k less than the previous event as well as uh gained a uh, hundred K less dollars during the event. Now, something I want to point out is they have another game uh, that is uh, China only uh, that is doing really well. So right here, uh, I cut this off a bit. This is the first one is uh, Android. Android is not doing too well, but surprisingly on uh, Apple, it is doing wow. really, really well. So the down, no one's really downloading it, but everyone's spending a bunch. Uh, you will also see this on. Sound familiar? Everybody's spending a bunch. Nobody's downloading it. Other games like uh, World of Kings, even World of Tanks, and some other games like this, where the player Ebony is also a good, uh, good one. You may remember that. Uh, city builder the original city builder that used to be on a web browser uh that is, is making uh, the fist, that. Uh, every month but almost no one downloads it it's just the people who do play it spend a lot and as we see right here uh this game right here is doing amazing and they haven't had an update in a, almost two months uh, you know, uh, a week and a half away from two months. And they're spending more than uh, Eternal Evolution. It's very interesting. I sh Expect that to be incoming. If they've worked out a way um, where they can get you the shit out of the game and um, get people to spend without doing updates, be prepared. Be prepared, that's what I'm going to say. This one, I don't know what this one uh, name is. But they haven't had an update in almost a month. Um, they've had, you know, close to the same downloads as EE and made s close to the same money. Uh, when I went to check out this first one right here, it said not available in my country. Uh, um, it's a foreign country only. Same with this one down here. Uh, probably in the same section as where HK Hero Entertainment is based out of. Now... We're at a weird spot, right? Because, like, uh, now, the reason why I'm going over these numbers is I want to look at what can we look at in the future, right? So the collaboration, which everyone said was bad, made more money than what um, the anniversary made that everyone said was great. My opinion on that is just a matter of timing. Um, I think people left after the collaboration a lot of people across a lot of servers and that will reflect in the fact they've got less money. I think those that are left here, potentially, I could be wrong, spent more money in the anniversary. I know for a fact that I did. Um, I'm not saying I'm reflective of all people, um, but I think it's a timing thing because um, let's face it, the collab was pretty fucking shit even though they had the $40 offer that a bunch of people got the yearly pass. Mm -hmm. I know a bunch of free-to-play players that broke their free-to-play on this. Uh, so if they're making about the same money and the anniversary style uh, where they did like um, the special uh, events had us doing, the digital war had us doing uh, what you call it, um, a uh, special version of Endless Battles. Um, if all of that, if uh, people, if the players enjoyed that. Oh, yeah, and they did. they're making about the same money, then uh, I believe they're going to lean towards uh, this next uh, collaboration going more in this direction. Then... Well, one thing, at least, at least this time they're doing Twilight. They haven't held it back. Um, that was kind of annoying for people. So no matter how shit the event is, at least they've got Twilight for their rewards. That's one thing I'll say. I don't say a lot in their favour, but at least that's one fucking thing. The first collaboration where they got tons of backlash for it, even though they got more money. Uh, now, the thing that's going to suck, though, is this earnings report is only a couple days old. 
So I guarantee you that the anniversary set up, the monetization for it is already set in place. So we're probably going to see something in the middle. And then uh, they're probably going to use these numbers. And then aggregate of all three is going to be what all further events in the future are going to look like. Uh, let me know if you want me to do this for the next collaboration. Until next time. Okay, thank you very much, Kai. That is very informative. Um, yeah, I, th I think he's got a good point there. But I think if they do that, they're going to fall on their ass. If they're following backdated figures, what they've got to realise is that people are leaving the game. Um, people aren't happy. Every event going forward will get less. So there's no point in them looking back at two or three events previous. Go, oh, that worked, that worked. It doesn't matter. They need to make things more interesting. Now, one thing I will say is they did the anniversary event well. Um, this collab looks like it's going to be absolute bullshit, same as the last one. We'll see. We'll see come Thursday. Um, but go and check out Kyger's video. Um, I think it's a concern for the game. Um, I think their emphasis is on getting new players in, not retaining them, um, and bleeding them as quickly as possible. It's like they're herding sheep into a fucking pen, shearing them all, and then fucking let, leaving them wandering off to fucking die. That's my opinion. Anyway, you know my thoughts. Um, as I said, go check out Kyger's video. I've been Donks, and you've been amazing. Peace!